All right, so um, I want to talk a little bit about um, what uh, what pops things forward um, in a drawing. One of the um, uh, let's just use some shapes actually. Let's let's take a square, right? Um, and this square doesn't really like or this rectangle, rather, doesn't really like exist in space yet. Um, but uh, we can make it do that. Um, let's say we draw like the same size rectangle, roughly. Now we have two rect rectangles that don't really exist in space, but they have a relation because they're near each other. All right. So, what happens if we take a take a rectangle that is like similar in its uh, in its proportions and scale it down? What if we make it that big. You might be thinking, okay, well, this one is further away, um, and maybe maybe that is how it'll work in, in a drawing, but generally not. There's still just these distinct shapes. One of the simplest ways to uh, uh, to make uh, like shapes spatial is simply to overlap them, right? So I can take my original rectangle and I can uh, overlap that with a rectangle of the same size and I've now created space because this rectangle is definitively in front of that rectangle. Okay, so another thing that I can do is uh, I can choose overlap mixed with scale and I can take this little teeny guy put that there so now it looks like this rectangle and that rectangle are really far apart and those are really close so this is actually kind of how perspective works you know try to draw through the form so essentially what's happening when you overlap is your eye is tricking you into think uh, thinking in terms of perspectival space which is a, kind of a cool effect, right? Um, so that's why overlap works because overlap isn't really just overlap working, it's your brain filling in the perspective um, to, make, to make space. Um, another way that you can uh, make space is to uh, provide contrast, right? So let's say I have this uh, box that I'm drawing in two-point perspective where you can kind of see um, let me draw that a little bit bigger. Say I have a box that I'm drawing. Right? And then I'm going to draw another box about the same size. Um, another concept that you can use is you can use uh, contrast to pop things forward, right? So let's say I start with a box like that. So I have a decently light value and then a slightly darker value, but let's say that I did a uh, a box with like, you know, a decently light value on it. And then let's say I busted out the uh, the soft pencil and just made this really dark value. And take some time to like really work that work that value in. Okay, so which one appears to be more closer to you? I would say it'd be this one because there's more contrast. So this is like kind of an introduction to atmospheric perspective. But what if you played with like contrast and scale and you put another 
you know, you, you put a box that's really small out there and you used less contrast, right? So this box is really far away. This box is really close. Um, so you can start to play with, with like overlap, scale, and contrast um, to, uh, to pop things forward. You know, another thing um, uh, that pops things forward is, uh, is differences in, in value and delineation, and that'll be the, um, the subject of the next video.